Looks like I don't even have to fight a single war to get this back into the fold. Yep, just had to wait a few decades for people to die. <laughs> oh, if we destroy them, we get money? Huh. And I've just been allowing them to destroy themselves. Excuse me? How did I not know this? This music immediately pulls me in. I, it's, I don't know, it worked in Crusader Kings 2, it works in Crusader Kings 3. Every time I hear the theme music, I'm in there. I am now in medieval Europe being a feudal emperor lord person. And I'm trying to tilt my camera like I did in City Skylines, but I can't do that here. Because that's not how it that works. Ah. Okay, where did we leave off? Um... Money is okay. We might lose some stuff. All this. Okay, we're still trying to regain what was taken from us. So, Galicia, Bologna. We're coming for you. And we're unlocking. We're working on unlocking so we can go de jour duchy wars. So we don't have to try and piecemeal gather what is rightfully ours. Because all of this is rightfully ours that they are currently holding. Oh boy, why is this so... Slightly laggy here. Alright, let's unpause the game. Get going a little bit. Pay ransom. You want to give me money for the boy or whoever? Sure, take it. Speaking of the boy, we are... Oh, 37 already. Feels like we just took over. Oh no, our, our lover is pregnant once again. Uh... Can't I forgive her? Are we? Am I still working on the witchcraft thing? Or have I given up on that? Let's check if I'm giving up on that. Found witch coven. 5.88%. I'm giving up it again. Again. I've given up on this before and I will keep giving up on it. <laughs> it's just... It's never gonna happen. Let's see. Okay, someone tooted a little bit. Or something. Okay, something about latrines. Okay. We gained smelly court for 10 years. Or we pay... 240 gold. I mean, yeah. If you don't clean out the latrines, you know. There is a chance we can save mom money. So do we haggle? Do we haggle? 55% chance. Chat, what, ch what say you? Do we take the chance and possibly go poor? Or do we go with the safe route and go not quite as poor? Safe. Safe we do. Look at his puny crown. He's just a king. We are an emperor. That's a Chad emperor crown against a... I don't know what the opposite of a Chad is. Small, puny, little... Soy crown. Yeah, I'm scared too. So we go with the safe route. Neighboring ruler lost war. Bavaria, you're losing wars? Why would you lose wars? Who does that? That's crazy. Seize this your Look at that. Fight for every single one. No, 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 no. We're going here. That's what we want. Ducal conquest. Casa's belly. Uh, this is all fine. Yeah. Despot Kalistos. Lost 20 opinion of us. Well. That's fine. I don't even know who you are. Oh, wait. How does that... 
What? No, it's a kingdom. I don't care. What's this? King Elvir's friendship. Do we become friends with uh, the kingdom of Vladimir, which is somewhere over there? There. Sure. Let's be friends with the king Vladi of Vla Vladimir. And go for Slomensk, maybe? No. No. Truce breaking. That's not something we do here. Not in this household. Our Empress is pregnant once more. That is kind of crazy. Oh, Burgundy is blobbing over there. Mordvinia. All right. I'm just looking, shopping around, basically. I mean, we can just check here what wars we can do. Uh, Mordvinia. Count Gudfridur's claims, which is one county. We're not going for that. <laughs> yeah, imagine you just go to the doctor and they, they're they like handing you a little a little uh, sticker with, with that icon. This one here. <laughs> Your wife gained the uh, trait pregnant and uh, they put the sticker on and now they can fight worse. Th they're bad at fighting now. <laughs> oh no. Not again. That would be a good sticker. Honestly, now I want to make these like as a, as a as a thing to sell, but I don't know how that is in copyright infringement on the on the little art. Malaysia, while I was cleaning the armory, I noticed that the, here is a weapon that rusted away to almost nothing. So we could restore it, and it would be converted into a court artifact, giving only grandeur and prestige. No, it can go away. Let's see. My son and heir, Casimir, hovers in limbo between childhood and adulthood. I've taught him enough. Yeah. He should decide for himself if he wants to be a witch. I learn of my bastard's son heritage secret. Well, I should know about that, I, I would say. Uh, Galicia, Bologna. Yeah. It's just not worth while to go for single chiefdoms and stuff we'll fight soon enough soon enough we'll fight prisoners can be ransomed anything good ah, just a bunch of 10 golds we'll take that we'll take that oh it's all from the same person as well okay someone is hitting on the empress on the pregnant empress on the stuttering pregnant empress. Stop hitting on my woman. Darn you. We can pardon criminals. Can we pardon our lover? Yes. Our lover will be granted a pardon. And it's, n it's totally normal. Oh no, our friend died. Oh, damn it. Let's do something about the stress. We will go and seclude ourselves. Goodbye. And restore accolades. Sure, we have the prestige. Though I hate accolades because it's the worst interface in the world. Introduce a new fashion at court, huh? 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 No, that costs money. I don't like spending money. I'm even more stingy than I am in real life here. But it's fair. It's, it's for a good cause. Because if we spend the money we have right now, we have no buffer whatsoever. Uh, to go to war. How much does it cost? 200. No. Wars are very expensive at this point. We need a buffer of at least 500 gold or something before we can even go to war. And there we go. Call to war. The Byzantine Empire asks us. Sure. And we have another daughter. Zivoslava. Alright, let's let's uh, let's slow down for a moment. Pause. Hold up now. Hold up now. First, we're going to go and restore the accolade. Whoops. 
<sighs> Inactive accolades. And we'll go with the highest one. There we go. That's restored. Because they lose a level if you restore it. And, you know, that helps. Right. Now, who is he fighting? He's fighting that. How is the balance of power? Okay. So you alone can kill it, and with me you definitely can. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all of our men-at-arms. And we're also going to um, raise all here. And we're going to stop one of them from raising. And just move it there. So we're not actually going to raise all. But a bunch. And we're also going to put our... Our... Marshal... Oh, no, he's already working on raised army maintenance, keeping that down. Man, the music in this. So atmospheric. So immersive. Okay, so these we're going to stop gathering. They're done. And these guys can keep going a little bit longer. So that way we have about 8,000 that we're going to add. Instead of pulling 4,000 more for nothing. So we'll bring them down. And we're going to go the do the sensible thing. We're going to go siege. <laughs> He's looking to fight, but that's fine. We'll support him if the enemy chooses to gang up on him. Otherwise, we're here to siege. Gonna make some money in this war. And not just lose it. Oh, let's go in. Might want to siege close to him, though. So, unless we lose a lot of people going here, I'm gonna go here. Alright, okay, he decides to go and engage, so we're gonna move that way as well. Let's see if we have a commander. Oh, we have inherited a county. That's fine, we have enough. Uh, let's see if we have a commander that can help us with movement speed. Um... I never remember what the trait is called, so I can't really search for it either. There it is. And he's already leading something, so we can't... Wait, now I know what it is called. Organizer. Can I go for a speed? Does that work? No. Organizer. I have to remember what it's called. Okay, we only have one of those, so that doesn't help us. And we're going to lose some troops here. Oh, 400? Okay, that's big. So we can't really avoid that. We'll just have to eat it. Let's see. Only the first finest ermine and velvet for me. To get respect. No. Local fashions are perfectly fine. So we could go push here. I don't know if they're going to come with us, though. So I don't feel like his capital should fall. So right now it's a balanced battle. So we can't really put anyone better in there. Let's see. No, that would be worse. Okay, the Byzantines are not coming. I don't know why. Why they would let Constantinople burn. I mean, they see me go there, but... Alright. 
Ducal Conquest. There we go. That's what we want. And now... I should be able, once we don't have any war anymore, to fight for a whole duchy. My boy, you are losing your capital here. I swear, if you're losing because you choose to not fight them... Okay, it's your war. It's your, it's your head. It's your crown. That's fine by me. All right. Our boy comes of age and he is a, an astute intellectual. Not bad. Let's find him a wife. Uh, someone who's potentially better at other things or equally as good at this. Uh, let's allow them only an age difference of, let's say, 10 years. And we could go with someone who's really quite learned as well to really boost that. To make it their thing. Let's see. Let's get someone with inheritable traits. Oh, yeah. Uh, she has a claim. Let's go by alliance power. So, the kingdom of Valachia, which is internal. Uh, she's beautiful. The duchy of Mune, the kingdom of Sweden. She's very young, though. So, that's not ideal. Oh, Amazonian. Oh, I don't want to pass that up. Club-footed, but also Amazonian. A potentially Amazonian trait in the family. Let's try. Let's try. Uh, this guy is a vassal in our realm, so we don't get any good alliances out of it. But we don't need them. We need strong children in our bloodline. I don't think he's even my direct vassal. No, he isn't. <laughs> so this guy just sieged and is, he's like, okay, I'm fine. Thanks. I'm good. See you around. Never go away from your war without uh, pausing. Don't do what I'm doing right now. So I'm looking what we can build. We can build a lot, a lot, a whole lot. Can't build this, this yet, but that's fine. Development growth. There it is. There it is. Plus 2% development growth. That's definitely something we're going to take. It's costly. But it's something we're going to take. Maybe the Pope can pay for it. Oh, neighbors can be vassalized. I will take you in. I will take you all in. Become my loyal vassals. And now we check on the Pope. My dear Pope, he does not have the money. How dare you be so poor? Are you not the Pope? All right, people are coming to our court. We got 41 gold from this siege. Uh, 15, that's not worth it. That's not worth our time. 23, 46. But we're probably going to lose people going there. 23... Um, oh no, we're, we're not losing any people going there. So we'll go there. Since he doesn't have any inclination on attacking these guys, why do we need to stay close at the moment? We only intervene once he starts moving to fight. Uh, we're not going to go for any stress right now. We're just going to take the prestige and be good with it. The languages are fine. I have never really bothered with them. Uh, so we only speak one language anyway. Who have you killed so far? We executed this hostage. Yes, she was a child when every all hell broke loose. Oh, another bastard to us. Poor little boy. <laughs> Maybe you can become a, a knight in my court, huh? Little bastard. Okay. So there is a chance that these will go and attack. Yep, yep, yep. So we are gonna need to hustle over there now. Alright, so the Byzantines are running away. The Pope has died. 
Oh goodness. Will we arrive in time? How's the battle going, my friend? It's... He's losing. He's losing? Can we stop it? Yes. We managed to turn it around. Our heroic Carpathian troops came to the rescue of the Byzantine Empire. Let this be remembered and known. And now we go and loot 264 gold by retaking Constantinople. In the name of the dual emperors. I don't know if we're going to get that money, honestly, because it's basically his. But I hope he's going to help and join. Do we have a siege leader, at least? Ah, uh, yes, but he's a guest. So he would be, have to, we would have to buy him. Fairly expensively, so. This guy. He can help speed this up. So the Byzantine army has joined us. But since we were here first, uh, we should be the ones leading this. The enemy might choose to attack us, but they don't really have the men. So we will be able to do this ideally. Uh, let's see. So we have a new Pope who probably... Oh, he does. No, oh, he likes us. Offer of vassalage. No. <laughs> oh, we don't have enough piety to ask for money. Oh. You look at that. My prisoner Ludga died in my dungeons as well he should have. Uh, we can vassalize someone else. And he's even coming with high feudal requirements. Who are you? I don't know, but I'll take you in. I'm taking everyone in. I don't even care. We could hold court. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Siege one. We now control Byzantium. We didn't get any money out of it. It's a big shame. So he's going on a ship. Why, you might ask? I couldn't tell you. So we're putting us in a little bit of danger there. Where is he going? Where's the enemy going? Where's our ally going? Where's everyone going? Okay, our enemy is going there. So that's where we are going to go as well. Maybe we can catch them. With a better commander, that is, this guy. Higher speed? Oh yeah, we're going to catch them. Nah, they chose better at the very last second. They chose a better route to take. Get away from me. Okay, fine. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to find the, fight them in the mountains. That's crazy talk. Okay, so they're coming for us. Oh, no. We need the defensive bonus. Otherwise, we have no chance here. So we need to attack them. Do we have a better commander, an even better commander? This guy? Yep. He's gonna win us this. Because, well, this is planes. He shouldn't really have much of a impact there, but... Uh, is he gonna win us this? I don't... I, I, I'm afraid to look. I'm quite scared to look. This is very even, still. Okay, it's slowly swinging in our way. Uh, you can marry, yes, go ahead, my dear son. 
have your Amazonian wife. And we'll hold court while our people die out there for the Byzantine Empire. First petitioner, please come up. Oh, diplomacy challenge. Perhaps we can arrange something more re agreeable. A weak hook. He, ag he agrees to renege on the request of a favor. What, so I, so I get everything, but he doesn't get a favor? My liege, the people in your realm need the occasional joyous gathering where they can forget their stresses. I will gladly finance a feast, even if held under your name, as it is for the good of the Carpathia, that I would duly expect a favor and recompense. Perhaps we can arrange something more agreeable. Okay, they're not requesting a favor. <laughs> All right. What do you want? Greetings, your majesty. During my recent trip to the Duchy of Latigallians, I learned some fascinating tidbits about several of Duke Rahulid's subjects. I would be happy to share these with you for a price. <laughs> be gone, rumor monger. My court has no place for the likes of you. And back to court grandeur 10 we go. Right there. My lord, Mayor Dobrava is trying to seduce my wife. An affront to God. She has never liked me. It must be her. Matilda is clearly embarrassed to have this aired so publicly and can barely bring herself to meet my eyes. Is there no proof? Um, yeah. Proof or, or, or leave. That's how it is. Innocent until proven guilty. Uh, we will resist our foul impulses. Not do any of these suggested things. Our friend died. A lot of our friends keep dying and it stresses us out. Understandably so, let's say. 27 gold. Now we're going to go for that now. This is where we siege. Let's get the guy who speeds our army. We have captured some combatants. Is there anyone we can ransom for a decent sum? Oh, we've got two mares. So 60 gold, nothing to scoff at. Uh, we should give vassals to rightful lieges. Uh, we're just going to do that. So we... Avoid any internal strife or struggle, and I really don't care. Uh, you can have this guy. You can have this guy. You can have this guy. And you can have this guy. And now we're all good, aren't we? Everyone happy? Everyone is happy. Obviously, you do empower your, your people. It definitely empower them, but it can just fight them and win, you know, <laughs> if they become a nuisance. Now, where did... Okay, Byzantium went there. Fine. Uh, let us go and do a hunt. Ah, uh, no, a feast was what we were supposed to do. Let's plan a feast and right here in Krakow. And we'll go with the cheapest everything. Let's put an honorary guest in there. Let's make it this guy who's kind of afraid of us. King Rotislav of Great Moravia. Let's pull him in here. And we'll want to befriend him. Our people keep dying, so... Maybe he can be our new friend. And we'll start for 124 gold. We'll take it. Lovely time ahead of us. I'm a little bit afraid of the size of our army. Honestly. <laughs> I don't care. Go away. I don't want to buy information. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise all men at arms. There. Because that's the strongest bit of army we have anyway. Oh, okay, it's only four. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll click on raise all here. Just let them gather a little bit, and then we'll stop somewhere on a number I like. 
Like a th another thousand or so should do. There we go. That's it. That's all I want. I just don't want them to be a threat to us, is all. How about all of you come down here, huh? Even my four men at arms. So it's our feast. It's ongoing. All good. We don't need to be there. It's going to pop up for us as it comes about. Let's see. Lots of stuff going on there. The enemy moving to resiege what we took. I don't care. <laughs> Who are you? I pledge submission. Uh, who are you? Okay. Sure. Serve me well, my lad. Serve me well. Where are we on the renown? Uh, still a little bit to go for another legacy. And... Almost done with our siege. Victory. Well, okay, fine. Now we can disband all our armies. We won. And he should be very happy with us. But since he wants the kingdom of Croatia, he's only slightly happy with us. It should really do more in terms of friendship and opinion that we brought our people here. That we actually came. Because more often than not, I don't actually enjoy coming to these wars. <laughs> Our Duke of Pinsk, he's amazing at this. So he gets the job. And you go back to um, promoting commanders, improving our boys. So we have 250, meaning we could ask for money, but he doesn't have it. Another duke another to transfer. The feast begins. Very good. Everyone is coming. My boy. The things you talk about. Fascinating. Fascinating things. Our counselor drank himself to death, okay? Who are you? What did I promise last night? I cannot remember what led it to it, but I do remember slapping the back of my vassal Count Statsko, telling him that I would do anything he asked of me. Now rumors abound of the oath, I swore. He gets a weak hook. Fine. What's the worst thing he can do? <laughs> Let's see. I just hope the next course is a bit lighter. So we want him to be our friend. He might immediately become our friend, or we go roll closer to it. So let's go. Yes, sadly, it was a, just a poor choice, I think. Closer to the friendship, not yet friends. <clears throat> and now he becomes our friend. What a good evening it was indeed. Did we just... And now a toast to King Rotzislav. And he becomes highly esteemed. Okay, we're no longer in a war, meaning once our feast is done, we can go attack Moravia and Galicia. All right. Okay, we only have one du jour claim left here. What is this? Fine. Where's my ducal conquest? I think it's a different thing. Um, yes, let's have our our heirs meet. We might gain a diplomacy lifestyle perk. Um, we will not be able to influence the meeting, but that's fine. Both our boys are grown, so 
He can go to that court. Um, so the Ducal Conquest thing. There, we got one. For this county. <laughs> oh, the pain. Okay, this is just Holy Wars. I'm looking for a good Ducal Conquest now. Come on now. Ducal Conquest. Again. For a whole county. Uh, he's our friend, so not really. Gonna attack him. I, I just... I can't think about this too much. If I think about this too much, it's gonna make me sad. I hope the Ducal Conquest would be the game changer for us. Get us a bigger piece of the pie. But I was mistaken. Quite mistaken. Can get... Ah, I don't want to seize just single du jour counties. What is this silliness? And all these have single county claims. I would have loved to press those, but it's just... Come on, won't you be my vassal? Really now? You sure won't be. Okay, so our boys become rivals. Well... But we got our perk. Forced vassalage. Okay, this is more like it. Let's see if we can force some vassals here. Force a vassal. Okay, so what is this? Ex uh, he holds too many counties to be forcefully vassalized. Great. Okay. So it only goes for weaker enemies. Excuse me? How many counties are they allowed to hold? Because that's not a lot. No more than three counties. Okay, fine. That's still slightly better. Just can't get him. Could get him. Could get him. For 200. Forced vassalage. He has a lot of allies now. Khan Bars of Volga, Bulgaria. That's... I don't like fighting Khans, if I can avoid it. This guy. This guy we can take ourselves. Okay, let's check again for forming the Slovian Empire. That thing. Unite the Slavs. Slavia. So we don't have to go down here. We need this. We don't need anything here. We know we need Vladimir. We need Smolensk. We need this little bit. And we need a lot of Polabia. And some of Bavaria, which is not great. And some of Italy, which is which is even worse. And oh god, some of Byzantine. Okay, that's not gonna happen. The West Slavs then. West Slavia. That's more doable. Uh. Hmm. Our counselor died. No, we already knew this. We replaced him. From whom can we demand hostages? The king of Vladimir? I don't care. He's too big. Could go here. But they got all the allies. Nah, we'll just wait. We'll bide our time. We have uh, no rush to get anything done. Our culture has discovered the Amillary Sphere. Okay. We are working on chronicle writing. For the de jure duchy casa spelli. <laughs> the thing I'm looking for. I mean, if we take some of what he has. 
Ah, oh, haha, oh. Those are some decent claims. Our Duke has this claim. Oh yes, that's what we're gonna do. Rest assured, they are a thorn in my side. And we'll field everyone. Which might cost us too much, so... We'll see how we do it. Sweden is joining this, okay. Okay, our boy took his favor and... He gained the council rights guaranteed in his feudal contract. That's what he could do. That's what we promised in the feast, basically. So, okay. We'll deal with it. So everyone has their marching orders. Look, this is why we need money. Because these armies are very expensive. Caliphate was split. Oh no. Wait, am I missing an army? No. So he brings 8,000 troops all in all. I think we'll split these and put half there. No, half and half there. Because they're not sieging fast anyway. Might as well combine them a little bit more. What house members can we call? Costs us a little bit of renown, but we have enough. And it doesn't take away from our pro uh, prog progress here any anyway, either. So we're grouping these, select, press G. Uh, challenge to a board game, sure. And we are... Okay, what's our best trait out of these? None. We'll go with the manuals because... Uh, an excellent match. Very good, thank you. Thank you for the game. So we'll have to attack them before their friends show up. While they're still weak-ish. Oh, we get to pet cat and Count Andre becomes our friend. Ah, kitty. Okay, now important news. Uh, this one will be mittens. Unless chat has a better idea. But I think we're going with mittens. Uh, what's here? What's up? My leash tonight, I'm having the kitchen prepare for the richest sauces known to man. Served with a ten bird roast. Well, I can't wait. It's great. Why wouldn't we want to take the free court grandeur? Our counselor died. Oh, Marshal, or no? Let's see, who do we put in? Someone who's good, ideally, but also who's a strong vassal, maybe. Uh, he already has a seat. 15 is fair enough, but honestly, at this point... Um... Yeah, no, it's fine. We'll take him in. Go organize the army. Reduce the cost. I'm gonna move these here. Maybe they attack. Or maybe they try. Then we have a river crossing in our advantage. At least that. Where are the Swedish armies? I'm just checking that they are not sieging anything up here. Alright, we siege the wrong thing there. 
wasn't the capital of that county. Oh well. A new cut at bra branch was created. Very good, very fine. So we're sending these guys to fight these, but they're gonna be too slow and not reach quickly enough. So now we're pushing for a battle. Because we have the number superiority definitely for sure. And we have a very decent commander as well. And he's a good attacker, so make sure you actually attack with the attackers. Makes a big, big difference. So this battle was well fought. Well, from us anyway. Now we take the ones with the siege stuff. Send them there. And the other ones we send there. We have to be a little bit careful with our supplies. They're kind of going low. So, instead of doing what we're doing here... Now 40 is still enough. Okay. So this army isn't so good at, at uh, sieging, but they're good at fighting. So we're just going to send them to defeat them over there. That should be fine. And our ally is kind of wumbling around there as well. So even if the Swedes do show up, that should be okay. And we get progress on our siege while all this is going on. We can usurp the kingdom of Galicia, Bologna. We might want to do that, but we don't have the money. Let's ransom some prisoners to offset our cost here. As you can see, war is an insane expensive later if you bring your whole army. So, either don't bring your whole army, or make sure that you can afford it, basically, or siege a lot to recoup some of your losses. But it's it's a drop on the hot stone, as we say. To try and get money out of the sieges. To offset what you're putting in to pay. And we already have our counselor organizing the army. So it's already 16% cheaper. Than it would be without that. Okay, he's coming in again. So we'll beat him again. I don't mind doing this a few times. Okay, so we leave this army there for a little while. They go... Rep ah, no, they can't. They can't replenish. We have to split them apart a little bit. So there's enough food for them to take on supplies. I wish they would make this icon green. You know. Uh, Alright, we captured a valuable prisoner. So we can win this immediately. Disband our troops. And we don't go into bankruptcy. For once. And we have successfully pushed... Uh, this duke here. Yes, yes. Your olds are amazing. Thank you. And now this place is ours again. And we can ask the Pope for money because we're, re we're real poor right now. So that's fun. That's good. That's what we want. So we can replenish our coffers from all the warring we've been doing. And now we could usurp this throne. And I think that's a little bit too expensive. We're not going to do that. I mean, he is shrinking. Our vassals are taking him out. Slowly but surely. I mean, he's surrounded. There is nothing and no one who's going to come for him. We could try with a Claymont again. Let's check. We hadn't had any success with these. And they're all women too. So that doesn't help. And these are his sons. So they're not going to come. For us to press their claims. Another ransom. 
We can pet mittens. We will pet our cat every five years. We can do that. Loses us some stress. Let's go seclude ourselves. More stress loss. And we can vassalize a new foal. Uh, who is he? He's that. Come on in. Join us. Be a friend to us. And now we should be able to grant this guy to someone else. He's not our rightful liege, is he? Uh, vassal. Well, speaking of which, let's check if we can't uh, integrate some titles here. If there's something we need to integrate. Now, everything is already de jure drifting toward us. Except for Great Moravia. So if we set this going, then there's less chance of this going away because they feel like they are not our de jure vassal, basically. Let's check our kingdom titles. Unless we don't even have a kingdom title anymore. Where's our kingdom of Poland? Kingdom of Lithuania? Kingdom of Hungary? Where's the kingdom of Poland? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Didn't see it there. I thought that was another duchy. But it ain't. All right. Very good. Pay some ransom, get some money, sure, sure. Let's, honestly, we have so much prestige. Let's check our culture. Ah. Let's check our culture and reform it. We can add another one. And we have so much prestige this time, we can, we can get some of the real good ones. So collective lands, development growth plus 20%, but everything kind of goes down apart from that. Castle keepers have additional five defender advantage per holding level. Okay, that's crazy. Rulers of the culture get prestige and renown from castle holdings, which we have a lot of, which is good. Architect provides a prestige bonus. Uh, rulers are likely to construct castle holdings, which is good for us. Castle holding cost and construction time goes up though. Um, which would be fine because we built most of our castle anyway already. Uh, let's see what else we have for a lot of 5,000, you know, or even that. Rulers are less likely to have courtiers and guests join hostile schemes against them. Guest recruitment cost goes down. Court position salary goes down. Oh, that's big. That is actually, that is big. Look at that. Uh, expense court position. Right now we don't have many. <laughs> but they can, they can really go up. Uh, courtier gets opinion plus 10 personal scheme success chance plus 5% that's not bad um, family business okay garden architects rulers can construct a royal garden statue building gain a decision to recruit characters with gardener trait forest folk hereditary hierarchy uh, the loyal trait is more valued Tyranny loss, minus 50%. Long reign bonus, plus 25%. Castle holding cost, minus 5. Feudal vassal... Okay, that's not bad. Uh, isolationist. No. Legalistic. Law cost penalty from realm size, minus 50%. The just trait is more common. Has additional bonuses. Vassal acceptance of rightful criminal punishments, plus 20 Monthly prestige per dread goes down. Tyranny gain plus 25%. Vassal limit plus 30. Title creation cost minus 30%. Okay, that's big. <sighs> These are also good. It's going to be very hard to choose the next one. Marital ceremonies. Uh, skills from spouse counselor tasks. Big. Uh, the temperate trait is more common. No. City holdings give more taxes. City holdings significantly lowers control gain. Okay. Okay. Ruling caste. Different culture, peasant factions, and populist factions are less common. Okay. That can help. 
Prowess plus one. Disease resistance, small health boost. Travel speed plus 10%. Knights in battle are less, die less, but are captured more. <laughs> okay. Characters with the liege of this culture are more likely to be captured in sieges. Okay. Friendly fatal casualties, minus 50%. Levy size plus 10%. Okay, that's big. Man, these are so good. All of these are so good. Convert local culture decision cost goes up. Controlled. Uh, so. I'm thinking. Castle Keepers is pretty good for us. Um, esteemed Hospitality is pretty darn good. Legalistic is pretty good. Army gold maintenance, that's a lot. Staunch traditionalist, state reasoning. <sighs> I think esteemed hospitality kind of works pretty well. But castle keepers is also really good. Because that's we that's what we are. Could go for Connie raids. Can recruit Connie at men at arms. You know, house with light cavalry overall, which is also pretty good. Oh my lord, we just looked at the realm ones, didn't we? Oh goodness, dear me, I thought this was everyone. Okay, more to look at. <laughs> Adaptive skirmishes. Oh man. Oh man. Battlefield looters. Gain gold from battles. One gold per 100 fatal casualties. Prestige and fame from battles goes down. Army loot capacity plus 50%. Okay, that's crazy. Forest fighters. Ah. Formation fighting experts. Frugal armorers. <laughs> Everyone costs less, but everything is much less tough. Island warriors. Mountaineers. I mean, we have a lot of mountain territory, but I don't know. Recognition of talent. Prisoners more likely to accept recruitment. Gain a positive opinion modifier when recruited, and the recruiter gets a strong hook. Get better knights from the invite knights. Get Okay, that's not bad. Quarrelsome. Conquest castles belly against... Neighboring rulers. Okay. Disloyal is more common and control growth minus 40%. That's crazy. Reverence of veterans. Permanent trait injuries such as scarred, maimed, or one-legged gives bonuses. Guardians can transfer commander traits to their wards, which is big. Stalwart defenders. Defensive war, peace acceptance plus 10. That's crazy. That is crazy. A permanent plus 10 to acceptance of peace if you're defending. Excuse me. Prestige from winning defensive wars. Gold from winning defensive wars is also big because defensive wars are the one wars that pay you gold if you win them. Garrison size plus 25% on everything. And defender advantage plus 5. I think that's the one. I love being a tank. So uh, let's see. Heavy infantry, toughness, maintenance. Nope. Number of knights. Nope. Swords for hire. Available mercenary companies plus 100% and less costly. Warrior priests. Theologian gives uh, prowess. Okay, that's really cool. Winter warriors. Warriors by merit. Uh, okay, so for now, it's for me the stalwart defenders. Let's check all the other 50 million traits that we could get. My god, why are there so many? <laughs> Charismatic, not bad. Charitable. Generous is more... Uh, nah. Expert artisans. Natural dread. The vengeful trade is more often. Forbearing. Patient and calm. Okay. Industrious. 
stress gain, building construction goes down. Life is a joke. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's funny. Mendicant mystics? Nah. They tried to push that on us so often, but I don't really care for it much. Musical theorists. Pacifists. Cost of converting to a pacifist faith. Okay, interesting. <sighs> Philosopher culture. Prolific hunters. Ritualized friendship. May ask friends to become best friends. Okay. That's actually not bad. Automatically has access to the friend scheme. That's big. Spartan. Monthly prestige goes down. But everything costs less to build. Storytellers. Guardians of this culture are more effective. Characters tell each other stories, increasing skills. That could be really big. Uh, the right to prove. Characters in this culture may become shield maidens if their faith, genders, doctrines is biased against them. Okay. So we can get less knights, but we can get women. And our knight effectiveness goes up. That's crazy. Uh, strong believers. Zealous and humble are more common. Oh, ritual. Let's see. Bound by faith. Only characters of the same faith can inherit. That's actually not bad. Actually not bad. It's not 7,000 prestige good, but... You know. Buy the sword. Wait a moment. Are these just expensive because reasons? Oh, yeah. They're not better. They're just more expensive for reasons. Uh, concubines. Characters can only have one spouse. Rulers, if allowed by gender law, can up to up to three concubines. Okay. Frequent festivities. Feasts are much cheaper. Uh, linguists. See, this is cheaper because we don't really have any much of downside here. Stoic ethos plus two thousand. Merciful blindings. Rulers can blind prisoners. Okay. <laughs> Monogamous. Characters can only have one spouse. But they can seduce them better. Or romance them better. Polygamous. Up to four spouses. <laughs> Tabletop warriors. <laughs> uh, sacred hunters. Okay, let's see. Why is this one so expensive for us? Okay, this one is just expensive because it's good. <laughs> I think we'll take this. We are stalwart defenders. We have been defending a lot. And this is... Big. Culture established a new tradition too recently. Darn. 30 years. Okay, fine. I'll go back in my corner. Can we just change one, though? I mean, yes, we can change one. Like, Xenophilic might be worthwhile. Eventually. Equal Inheritance, we definitely keep that one. But have we changed this yet? No, and we cannot yet because we don't have the crown authority and we can't get the authority because we don't have the royal prerogative yet. And that's here. Maybe we go for this first. But it's fine. We don't necessarily need it. Alright, that was a totally worthwhile excursion. 100% worthwhile. Absolutely decent. Ah, uh, let's build something. We have enough money to build something in Krakow. Or rather, in one of those places around here. <laughs> What's up? Okay. Um, we can catch the book that Mittens is throwing down. And 99% chance we do that. And with 1% chance, 
we failed it. Good stuff. Okay, what can we build? This here gives extra money, which we like. We like extra money. The architecture of trade was destroyed, yeah. Also extra money, but less so. Bigger garrison. Let's see. Okay, that's a lot of new trades here. Station light and heavy cavalry go really... They go big. From level 4 enables superior mounts travel option. Okay. That's big. And this here is just... Also good. Do we have heavy cavalry yet? We do not. They are stationed here, so they are good. But we could make them gooder. Let's make them gooder. Let's put that in there. It increases their damage by 20%. And army movement speed goes up by a percent as well. Doesn't bring us money, but it helps us. And eventually we'll want to replace some of these with heavy cavalry. So these are already pretty strong. Comparatively. Titles can be created. We can restore or declare wars. All the things we can do. Our hook on you will soon expire. Let's modify your uh, contract then before it's out. I would like you to... Pay more and do more. But you can have a March contract. So everything goes down for you? No. We are not this vassal's rightful liege. And he'll hate us for it. It's not very just, is it? Let's do just this. I mean, he pays us next to nothing anyway. Let's see. Can modify contracts. What other contracts can we modify? Uh, yeah, here we go with the money. We don't even need to use the hook. Oh, that removes the tyranny issue, so we'll do that. Ah, he can send us more troops, rather. And you give us troops, then. How about that? It's a strong hook, but... Not that we're going to use it for anything else, really. Milan could use a... Guardian. Let's do it ourselves, then. And let's check our accolades again. Oh, God. And let's restore the chief warrior of the forest. Recruit to court this man. 50 gold will take him. And of course we have to unpause here. And of course this is an update here. We have to click out and click back in. And of course he's not a knight. So we can't make him a knight from there. So now we have to look for him. And I hope that was him. Because I don't remember who he was. No. Rogvolod. So now we have to look for Rogvolod. Uh, we can't even filter this. That's just... There. Forced to be a knight. Now we can put him in. And we can check if we have a successor for him. Nope. I mean, we could, but... Nope. Do you have a successor? 
Vingoldas. 90 gold. That's too rich for my blood. So we're fine here. Building more stuff almost everywhere. Honestly, we'll build this as well. It's another plus 0 0.3 gold income. The supply limit we don't really care about. Let's see. Maybe this is more in interesting. Not this one here. Uh, not this one. 0 0.2 up. A spouse opportunity for peace. Yes, let's stop being rivals, you fool. And we'll do this. It costs very little. And it has the greatest financial impact for what we're paying there. So that's fine. Oh, we have a new perk here. Adaptive Traditions. Defensive Negotiations. Fellow Vassal's Opinion plus 15. Independent Ruler Opinion plus 15. Can propose alliances without marriage. Let's do that and see if there's even anyone worthy next to us of such a offer. West Franks, maybe. Burgundians. Oh. West Frank, yes, big. Why are you so big, West Frank? Yeah. What's going on there? What happened to you? Why do you have so many troops? Honestly, what's this? Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mercenaries, 7,897. How do you have money? How do you still... Uh, oh, well, he paid for them once. They don't cost monthly anymore. So if you can afford them, it's it's a decent thing to have. Basically. Basically. Uh, let's go council. Check out prisoners. Anyone good here, militarily speaking? This guy. You there. Negotiate your release. Recruit. Come aboard. Be a knight. Yeah, farewell. Except you're still here, aren't you? Uh, oh, he's actually pretty learned as well. Aw. Mitten says, been keeping our stuff rat free. Well done for him. Go take the vows, my boy. I don't know why, I just haven't made anyone do that in a while, so. <laughs> I mean, he could be our physician if we don't have one. Do we have one? Uh, her aptitude is good. Alright. The Yom's Vikings will no longer be... Will no longer reave unbelievers. Okay. Very good. So the Astaru religion, is it gone or is it just some? Oh, it's almost gone. Almost gone. Almost gone. There have been less ratings, yeah. But I take uh, full credit for all this. This was all my doing. All of it. Without me, they would have never done it. <laughs> Clear war. Holy war for a duchy. Yes, these are always crazy, crazy strong. Like, he just alone has 30,000. Byzantine Empire only stands because of its alliance with us. Let's be honest here. And this thing here fell apart. Tales from the Wild. My vassal tells me from his hunting stories and we are just super fascinated in taking that big, lovely stress release. We can negotiate a lot of alliances, goodness. 
but I don't really want to do that. We're fine not doing that. Look at all those titles we can create. All those lovely little kingdoms we could make. If we had the money, we would make them all. But we don't, so we won't. We and Duke Slavomir becomes friends, which is good because he's a strong vassal who would like to have a seat on our court and we are not giving him one. So, yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. Bronze plated mail. No, I'm quite happy with our Slovian scale mail, I must say. Um, no, thanks. Hey, popcorn, welcome. How are you doing? What even is Poland? Okay, all this here. So what kingdom do you guys belong to? Kingdom of Ruthenia. Which I could probably form, but I don't want to. The Duchy of Flanders. Should we attack Frisia? <laughs> no, really not. These accusations are not but malice and lies. I don't care. What? I don't care. Have your affairs. Enjoy. Go away. <laughs> uh, it campaign is, is going fine. It's going fine. <clears throat> we played some City Skylines 2 earlier. That's also pretty decent, I think. Uh, yeah, Milan should be just. Just is a good trade to have. I'm kind of sad that I have to wait for another like 30 years or so to add another tradition to our culture with that much prestige lying around. You know? I don't even have any really good conquests that would give me much. Oh yeah, it's fine. I'll upload it to uh, YouTube eventually. Just got to download it after the stream is done, cut it up, and then put the pieces out there. Uh, yeah. Um, I adjust the settings somewhat because I never really like certain things. Like, I always turn down shadows. I never notice it, and it's always the biggest performance impact. So, uh, for me, it works works pretty well. Has crashed once, but that was in a 125,000 uh, population city. Where it just kind of fell apart when I tried to move some stuff around. It didn't like that too much. Ooh, our tax collector brought us some gifts. That means more buildings go up in Krakow. In and around Krakow. And we'll boost the one that brings us money first. And this only costs 185, so I think we'll do that as well. Yeah. Stationed light cavalry, which is stationed here. You can see it right there. You know what I'm slowly figuring out here? About, um, generally about warfare? It was much easier in Crusader Kings 2 to not raise your full army and uh, have a better control over how many people you wanted to bring. I'm slowly figuring out to do, how to do it here as well. Without incurring too many problems. So, uh, here are the petitioners. You hear that low anti-aliasing, motion blur off and cystic off help. I believe they put a list of savings there in V-Sync. Oh, I have V-Sync on. I might try and turn that off, honestly. 
But I'm mainly having weird graphical artifacts sometimes, so... <laughs> Not so much a performance thing. <laughs> okay, let's hear the petitioners, shall we? I wish there was chat integration, so I could just be like, Chat! Make a ruling! Uh, Dynasty uh, Small Nikki gets 150 renown. We are at full court grandeur. We don't need court grandeur and we're not spending 140 gold. Um, the legendary founders of this land, nothing compared to me. Go away. Haggard losing peasants. A monster prowls in the forest of Orsha, killing cattle and farmers alike. Alright. I shall fell the beast myself. I mean, we have a lot of prowess. I think we'll do that. I shall fell the beast myself. Um, let's see, you have a wolf? Indeed. I want the pet monster. We'll keep the wolf at court. Thank you. My business here is done. Now we need to go on a hunt, as I understand it. Oh, but first... Dynasty. Squire tradition. Monthly martial lifestyle experience was 10%. Less likely to die or get wounded in battle and have a higher chance of gain, gaining prowess serving as a knight. Yes. I'm not even considering. Like, we're filling this one up now. We are filling this one up. Men at arms efficiency plus 15%. Excuse me. Knight advantage plus 5. Excuse me. I'll take it. We have been lawful warriors. This fits us. All right. Uh, now we need to do a hunt. Due to the thing that we just did. I think. So. Um, how do I know where I need to go? <laughs> fox sighting. Fox sighting. Bison sighting. Bison sighting. I didn't pay attention where I need to go. <laughs> oh no. Where do I need to go? Boar sighting? Is it that one maybe? I really don't know. Maybe we quit and just wait if something pops up for us to do. Like an event where it's like, hey, you need to do that. Oh, we can uh, vassalize Capua. Wait, Capua has been vassalized before. Be vassalized again, you fool. Have you uh, played City Skylines popcorn or are you planning on doing that? Uh, he becomes a vassal again as well. He should have been the whole time. Alright, there we go. The monster of Osha. Face me, you beast. 0% chance we die. 6% chance we don't kill it. 93% chance of us killing it. Monster is killed. For the county of Orsha. We gain a lot of prestige. And... Yeah, so... Let's see. It doesn't take us long to find it. A clear trail of blood leads us to straight to the creature's abode. I was already informed of what to expect, but... The massive stag finally stands in front of me. I can't help but shiver. Come on now. We killed it. We done did it. Well us. Well done us. I see. What wars can we declare? Anything interesting? Why can't the Duke have actual proper claims? How long is our fascination going to take? 
three years. I can wait three years for better wars. Means more money. More everything. Oh, look at that. We are being called to war. Give my cat back to me. Give me my cat, you fool. How dare you take my cat. Okay, so who are we fighting this time, my friend? Oh. An outside enemy. Interesting. Alright, so... We have to go a long, long way. Unless we attack from here. But this way we walk through friendly lands. And we arrive next to his army. So let's do that. Let's go ahead. We're not going to send everyone. We'll click on raise all here. Now first we click on raise all men at arms. And now we click on raise all here. And we're going to let them go up a little bit. Slow it down slightly so we have better control. Because if we stop this before they full up, before they fill up fully, then the people that don't come don't get this stand down penalty, basically. So at this point, this army is big enough for me. Uh, our men at arms are fully gathered. So together we have about 8,000. That's perfectly fine. So we stop everyone from gathering. And that's all we need. That's all we're going to send. So, we'll just send them individually like that. Right over here. They're all going to go in ships. 91 costs. Well, and we can't walk forever. <laughs> but I suppose it's better to ship off. Nah, I'd rather walk. It's not my war. Doesn't matter to me. When I arrive. Oh no. Stop doing that. Go there. Go here. Go there. Go there. I'm not paying 91 gold. Though then again. The time it's going to take them to get there. Might already be. 90 gold. Alright. Uh, let's make sure our dude here is organizing the army. He is. I forgot to turn it off again. Um, we can transfer a vassal from someone to someone. Absolutely. I will grant you this vassal. I don't care about them. Let's check our succession just for fun. Titles. We're losing two counties. And I can live with that. That's nothing. That is nothing to us. What are we fighting over? That's a large dotted line. I mean, you see the dots here? There? Okay, we're fighting about this bit, basically. And is he winning? Yes, he is. I think we're losing money by walking this far. Predicted arrival in two months. This is per month. Okay, so no, we're not losing money doing that. All right. We can just walk. Have our people use their feet. And since they're still being fed in friendly lands there's no worries about any failures there let's find what we want to siege i mean ideally we siege something he cares about 22 gold not interesting 17 eh who cares 30 more interesting how much you got here how much you got here 39 most interesting So likely we go for the capital. Plus there's always a good chance of getting a good hostage out of it. No. Don't do that. No. Don't do that. Stop trying to get onto ships. Keep going along here. 
That's what I want. And since they're all traveling through friendly country, they keep putting on supplies, taking them. So that's good. Unpause real quick. Faction was created against us. Ooh, what's going on? Your integration efforts have come along. Very good. In fact, we might be able to try to impose the taxation practices of the Empire of Carpathia on a limited scale. Uh, development level in county of Liptov changed by minus one. Or all the county developments go up, rather. But the de jure drift goes also down. Uh, let's take this. Quicker drift. A little less development in one county. That's fine. I mean, higher development in a lot of counties is good. Because that spreads around, you know. But look at our castles right now. This is what you want. We have uh, a lot of garrison here, a lot of garrison, but what we want to see is levies. So these are 400, 800, so 1,200, um, 2,100, and 2,600. So of our 13,000, 2,600 are just from our county. Add to that our men-at-arms with another 2,000. We have a quarter. Well, a little less than a quarter. But almost a quarter of our overall strength just comes from our own holdings and our men-at-arms. That's something no one can take away. As long as we have that one county, we are incredibly powerful. Especially if we keep upgrading these, which of course we are doing. Milan keeps the trade chaste, or he becomes vengeful or stubborn. No, let, let him be chaste. Learning plus two. Catholics like it. One should not dabble in matters of lust at all, my boy. Stay away from it. Don't create more people with claims to titles. All right, we're closing in on the frontier. Let's uh, pull our troops together, turn them into an army so we don't get picked apart by something bigger and stronger, just kind of rolling over us there. And can you please also not walk weird places? Thanks. Well, looks like we just arrived in time. Of course, I came to siege some stuff. Get some hostages, get some money. Maybe find an artifact. After all, our amazing spear is an artifact that we found. But apparently, we are joining our ally in their fight here. And he's winning. And why would this be a death sentence? Oh boy. Just a much, much better commander. Each alliance grants plus one. Okay, we got plus four. There's one more we can get. We'll take the diplomacy boost. If you can become better at the thing you're already good at, always try and become better at the thing you're already good at. Don't want to be someone who just doesn't get stuff properly done. But this time we can join the battle and help do the fighting. Not that he needs us, but, you know, might as well come. Oh, this is juicy. Will we ever arrive at the battlefield? 
Yes, we made it. Hello. See, our knights are helping. Ah, oh, goodness, another friend of ours died. Why do our friends keep dying? I hope it's not about being our friends. Someone is trying to kill Casimir, our heir and son. Oh no, whatever will we do? I don't mind too much losing an heir or two. Okay, money-wise, we have to save up a little bit right now. We're still building stuff. But what would be next on the agenda? This here, probably. More tax income. Or should we try and build something here? Probably more this. Yeah, definitely more this. Okay, so we're not going anywhere right now. We're doing nothing. We're just standing around costing money. Well done us. 40 gold. That's where we're going. We're here to help. Trust me. We're not here to enrich ourselves. <laughs> 17 gold. 34 gold. Okay, so we split and we take these two. Or we try anyway. To, to deselect, by the way, just click on lakes or mountains. That's what I'm constantly doing. Every time you see me do this, I'm just trying to deselect whatever whatever I've selected. You could, of course, just press escape, but I have, I've gotten used to this. Sometimes there's nothing around, so that's sad, but <laughs> if you want to deselect, you can do it like this. Okay, let's split. Take the army that has uh, no siege lords and put them over here, not where there are people fighting. So let's pause and check out what we can actually build as a duchy building. Uh, military academies, army gold maintenance, recruitment, that isn't too important. The knight number is big. Marches, fort level goes up. Hostile raid time, garrison size, levy reinforcement rate, this is a big one. Holding taxes in hills, mountains, and desert domains. Which, all of our stuff is basically in some of those. Um, siege effectiveness. They would have been. They would have to be stationed here. So that's not super good. Stationed men at arms. Royal armies. That's big. Army maintenance going down. Also big. Levy size plus twenty percent. That's big, big. Jousting grounds, of course, would be real good. But we are, we are building up this thing over there for our cavalry. So I'd rather go maybe with blacksmith. Man at arms maintenance minus six percent. That's big. Um, increased quality of sponsored inspirations enables superior armaments travel option. Okay, and we have our heavy infantry set here, which is already pretty big, but could even be bigger. Holding taxes, all holdings in this duchy plus fifteen percent. Also not bad. Uh, increased rewards from grand weddings held here. Feast, minus 50%. Cost. <sighs> Royal forests. Development growth. Tax. Popular opinion. Hunts go up. These are all really, really good. We're probably not capable of going wrong with any of these. Ah, yes. Bring in the Count. Thank you for your generous gift. I appreciate it. Do we have a Siege Master? Nope. 
only a guest. Oh, there. He's still there. He has been running all our sieges for years now. And the Byzantines are going to bash in this army again. While we very helpfully siege down here in the south where nothing happens that he needs at all. Yeah, he doesn't need us. What do we get for our particip participation? Our contribution is already 100%, so we could turn around and be done. What do we get? Allies share 200 based on their contribution, and since I'm the only ally, I get 200. Basically. Earldom of Efrog? Don't care. Go away. Ah. We really need the money. We have been spending on this war. We're not earning anything yet. But we came to earn. And to maybe to learn. We really built a big thing, didn't we? There's more to take, but... Isn't there always? But he scattered the enemy to the wind once more. Um, I'm not giving away my house cat. I, I will. I will not. Ow. Wait. She. As the problem. Go away, wife. I'll never give up a loyal pet for a woman. So we're going to switch these armies out real quick. So they take the siege progress. And we can send them north. Start more siege progress. So we maybe get some good stuff out of this. See, now they are sieging. The siege army is sieging. Honestly, we should probably increase this, but eventually we're going to get more. It's not too expensive to do. I will see. Maybe after the war. If we get another money input from the Pope. So they are slow, but they're making progress. And that can be taken over by the other army. Just be sure not to move your army that is currently sieging before the other one has already arrived. Otherwise, you're going to lose the progress and you're going to be mad and sad. <laughs> I sure would be. Dear Pope, I come to ask for money. <laughs> but I, I'm not pious enough. I understand. I understand. I understand that. I agree. I could go on a pilgrimage, but that costs money, and I'm looking for money not to spend it. And then again, I would get more than I do on a pilgrimage, so... Let's see, what's in the royal court? <laughs> Let's see. She just won't eating poached pears. Right at this moment, I spot Sophia... Exiting the pantry, carrying a pile of poached pears. You know, this is something the matter, my liege. You ate the royal poached pears to the dungeon. Oh. They're gonna hate us a little bit, but we get money. My god, woman, pull yourself together. She gets money. We get money without. Okay. Thank you, little pear thief. Yeah, losing all progress on a siege is always... It hurts a little bit. Alright, so they didn't make much progress. And there's only 70 gold here. So that's not enough for us to bother. Let's see, where else do we go? Let's go for the capital. There's 40 gold in there. We do lose some troops, but that's okay. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. We did take some prisoners. 
Anyone want them? I mean, 10 gold is 10 gold. I'm not mad about that. I'm not looking at anything in particular, honestly. I'm just kind of scrolling around. Sometimes you spot interesting things, and then you can react to them. And he goes in for another battle, which, you know, he can't do. But that's not gonna win his war. Always make sure, obviously, you send your siege army to siege, otherwise you're gonna be sad. Man, there's so many options to get sad in this game. Our cousin was taken prisoner. Oh, well. They shouldn't have been there if they didn't want to be taken prisoner. That's how it goes. How much does this upgrade cost? Too much. Do we have a cheap upgrade here somewhere? Nope. All expensive as heck. I mean, this is a, an okay price for what we get. Yes, yes. Our steward. That CU is ideally suited. I mean, he's decent at it. Might as well put him in. And uh, keep on the development progress. Where are we at? 24. Where are we generally in in terms of development? Uh, did the development? I mean, we're starting to look like something, you know, we're starting to look like a place similar to Paris. They are a little bit ahead of us with twenty nine, but we're getting there with twenty four. Byzantines, obviously, leaders of the world. I mean, we're, we're becoming a beacon out there. Just takes time. What artifact did we get? I don't know, something broke. Sanctified stained glass shard. Dread gain goes up. I don't know, what, what should we put in? The masterwork, a buzzard, bustard, feather, minus 4% stress game. Well, I mean, maybe this, fertility. I don't like fertility too much. But then again, it doesn't matter. It does matter a little bit. Prestige prowess. Lucky rabbit's paw. We'll take that. And maybe we should repair some. Let's repair some. Boy, ouch. Uh, let's put an antiquarian in first. Average skill, but he likes as well. Our son, so he can earn some money. And that should reduce the cost for that significantly. So let's start with our regalia. 75. Done. We do it. Uh, 150. Still the exact same price, isn't it? Yeah. Well, but we have to do it. And the little statue thing here. And our crown is also dying. Oh, God. Oh, boy. All right, there we go. Out of the way. We'll soon be able to ask the Pope for money again.
And we might just earn some more here. Let's speed it up. Our counselor died of typhus. So we got a new guy. Uh, maybe our boy becomes a witch. I've given up on trying to get the witch coven thing. We're too big. We have too many people. It's not possible with that many people. Oh, wait a moment. We're being a little bit killed here. And I can't switch out our command anymore. And the Byzantines are not moving. So we might just die here. Yep, yep, yep. We're dying. Well, my fault. I didn't watch. I didn't watch what was going on. And now we go fight them again and we're going to lose again. Watch it. And they're not going to move again. Now oh, we're actually winning this time. Unfortunate. We get a dopey cat. It's cute and clumsy. Come on now. Let's go pet mittens. And we're not going to learn languages. It's all superior what we can do. Alright lads. Back to work. Man, that count doesn't have a lot of money. But we have even less, so... I mean, relative to our power. Ah yes, the Pope. To the rescue once again. Praise Saint Matthews. Oh, now you come. When I'm fighting 600, now you come. There we go. War is won. We disband... And he took a good chunk down there. Oh! Bologna Galicia fall apart. Neighbors can be vassalized. Well. Is that both of them? Looks like I don't even have to fight a single war to get this back into the fold. Yep. Just had to wait a few decades for people to die. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Rightful vassals. Do we have any rightful vassals who need anything? Where do you belong? There. And there, Hungary. I would like to grant you this vassal, which is your vassal. Good, no? I think so. Man, Great Moravia is a tiny little thing. Um, yeah, let's form a friendship with our lover. We don't need more. We inherited a, f a goose feather. Good stuff. Speaking of feathers and things, let's uh, repair our stuff again. Now that we have the money from the Pope. And Oh, if we destroy them, we get money? Huh. And I've just been allowing them to destroy themselves. Excuse me? How did I not know this? Okay, that's crazy. Why are these almost destroyed, completely worthless things giving us so much money? Hello? Whoa. Box of bog bones. Like, who cares? That's crazy.
That's insane. That's truly insane. What? I want to repair this. Not that. This. Repair this. And our spear. Always repair the spear. We need the spear. Oh no, we, we have this equipped. Okay, we have nothing left that we haven't equipped. Uh, so we repair everything with the money we just made. We made bank. Holy hell. Okay, let's check the cord artifacts. Do we have the same here? Like... Yeah, okay. Alright now. Calm down now. Are you kidding me? Slovian Book of Hours. Fine art of hunting birds. Alright now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so we don't want this. Okay, but we can't destroy it. All right. Feral fox side versus feral wolf hide. But then again, small wall ornament. Like we don't, we don't have that many small wall ornaments. We have a lot of these though. Let's see. We only have blue ones up, so we can destroy all the others. Doesn't matter. I mean, look at that. That's complete insanity. We are going to be so flush with money in a moment. So what is this? Control territory defend advantage plus eight. That's big. These are all pretty good, especially this one. Nah. It's fine, we'll destroy this. This one we already got on uh, on display. So we have another display slot, don't we? There. So this is where we put the Slovian jewelry casket. Which isn't all that great, but you know. It's fair enough. Now let's go and repair everything that we have displayed from the money we just got from destroying everything that we don't want. Okay, that's crazy. That is complete, completely whack. Let's uh, build these up. And let's expand some more. In Krakow. Like we could even afford a university if we had one. If we had the prerequisites. Now, the big question is obviously what do we hear? What do we do here? Um, military academies is great. Size of men at arms at regiments plus one. Knights effectiveness, more knights. <sighs> Enables to train knights, travel option. That's also, like this is real big. But I'm considering going for a crown smithies because we have a heavy infantry here. And the men-at-arms men maintenance minus 60%. And inspiration stuff turns out better. Is a, is a big question, but... Oh wait, these have levels too? Development growth plus 30%. Ugh. 
that is I don't know how big that actually is like that's difficult for me to uh, to put into words but let's see what the crown smithies does <gasps> 90% toughness <laughs> yo okay man in arms maintenance minus 10% that's big they are very costly. Very costly. So I think we go with this. Really lean into our heavy infantry being stationed here. But we can build more and be quickly poor and then worry about that again. So let's upgrade everything that gives us a little bit more money. First. First, where there is money. Then everything else. Oh, another development growth one. And we're back to where we started. <laughs> but that was a huge windfall. I, I literally didn't know that. Like, God, we had so many... I don't know if we got money from them being destroyed over time. But that is insane. Oh, we are the honest now, uh, given by our secret lover. <laughs> oh, yes, fascination was discovered. Very good, very good, very good, very good. So we have chronicle writing now, and we want royal prerogative to get higher crown authority, and then we can get uh, equality in our stuff here. Can't go there yet. So now we can do a de jour, ca uh, de jour duchy Casas belly. Casas belly prestige cost minus 10%. Zealot vassals are more common. Fine. So, declare war. De jour duchy. Now we're cooking. But they're tiny. <laughs> what is Polania? What, what is held by Polania? Lubus, Lubush. That's all. Okay, that's not a lot there. That's not a lot. What else can we do? Who else? Seize the Duchy of Bohemia. That would be big. That would be pretty big, and he's not very strong right now. Like, we can fight that on our own. Without going bankrupt. So we'll do that. Uh, let's put down a new flag. Maybe. Oh, I have so many from showing it off at some point. So we'll raise everyone here. Again, same thing. This one will have all the men at our arms, I think. Okay. So our men at arms are raised now in these two armies. And honestly... This one can stop. We'll see how far these go. No, I think we're good. We can always raise more. And our men-at-arms are... Well, not fully there, I don't think. Give me the flag. No, nope, all our men-at-arms are already here. So now we have an affordable, compact army. Let's put in a siege commander. Honestly, let's just get this boy into the court now. I'm growing sick of looking at his face and not being able to put him in. Let's find what is the most valuable in where we need to fight. 26. 20. 28. So we start up here. And we'll have a little bit of an eye on his army because he might get some vassal, some, uh, some mercenaries or something. Actually, we might fight him directly if he comes close here.
I mean, he's a good leader overall, but we're going to put this guy in. He has the traits, like all of them. Has he got the trait? Yes. He has got the trait. He's speeding our armies up, and our armies are fast anyway. So despite the defend, uh, defensive advantage in mountains, we're still beating him here. If we can catch him, that is. Let's see if he will stop it at some point. Ah, oh, he's an intricate web weaver, is he? Well, he's not very good at it. Let's see alliance power. Palabia? Nah. Dutchies. Okay, we'll take Friuli. A robust girl. Or we take that and push her claim, potentially. Or rather, whoever inherits that claim. That would be worthwhile. So for now we would be allies, which doesn't matter. But we will get some claims in our bloodline. Maximum perk bonus reach to what? Oh. Oh, you're giving me this war banner, huh? Thank you. That is money right into my coffers, I have learned. Alright, so we've beaten them, getting us a big, nice push here. And we got this guy. Alright, so since we got this alliance, uh, we got the maximum we can get as a bonus here from our perk. That's what that message meant. Uh, this one here. Each alliance grants us plus one. We now have five alliances, so we're full. And now let's put in our siege lad again, who is now otherwise engaged or dead. No, there he is. Always thinks the worst of things happening. Okay, wait. Uh, there we go. So we'll get you someone youngish. This giant Tess. She will be perfect for you. I will just take this. I'm not looking to learn languages, but we're filling out the thing. A new court artifact. Where is it? This, the Lusatian Luz war banner. I mean, it's not necessarily bad, but it's also not really good. Excuse me, I'm not trying to click on that. Why do we have to zoom out until I can switch it? Plus one knight, control defender, and court three. Advantage in hills, no knights. So this one is worse. Thank you for the 80 gold, dear vassal. I appreciate it. Now we have a clean inventory. Everyone is gaining court traits. Diplomatic courtier. They're a valued diplomatic courtier. Oh no, he's sieging our stuff now. Whatever will we do? We're gonna speed up. What? He's just a cat. What do you want? My dear count? I'm not giving you 400 gold because a cat did a thing. Yes, bring in the duke to pay his homage. Thank you, I appreciate it. Highly appreciate it. Alright, and now we bring him in. Uh, we sieged the wrong thing, but that's okay. So he also has the organizer feet. So he's quick. We'll catch him.
And we'll destroy him. I mean, look at them. 69 damage, 37 toughness against 54 and 28. That's not too bad, but... Our heavy infantry is doing a lot of heavy lifting. Oh, we might just as well stay here and siege this. Is this the... Is the crown one? Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll just siege it. What are these people doing? You're integrating 55 years left. Well, I mean, that's... That's no problem. Convince de jure territory. Sure. Our son learned the Finnic language. Good stuff. And we have another court event. A flesh wound. My apologies for this mess. I was defenestrated by a dwarf trying to rob me in an inn. What? Guards force this man to see a physician. We lose money. Uh, we can talk, but your liege is paying for my carpet. I'm not, I'm not paying for nothing here. These people don't understand. They don't understand the kind of court they wandered into. Like, why would I want to try and rescue this lad? I'm sorry that you got so hurt, but... This is not a welfare state. Except for if it's my welfare. Oh, I didn't even have the siege guy in. Oh, look! Besieged the Liebschau Saga. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. You keep running. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we have no supply anymore. Um, I will win their unwavering loyalty. Let's do that. Vassal taxes minus 5%. It's fine. Okay, we're, we're, we're dying out here. That's not fine. So we'll split our troops in a way where we can take on some supplies now. A granddaughter of our dynasty. Only clubfooted was inherited. Oh well. Let's make her an intriguer. Oh, do we actually get. Oh, because it's our heir. Okay, let's get her something matrilineally. Alliance power. Doesn't really matter to me. Let's get her something with good traits. And not too much age difference. Maximum 10. There we go. That boy. That boy will do. Oh, wait a moment. Uh, you should be taking on supplies. Oh, Mittens is getting in between us and our, our lover and soulmate here. <laughs> Shoo. Go away. Alright, okay. They're taking on supplies again. My starting point? I'll show you in a moment. Let's see. What is the crown thing here? This thing? No, it is this thing. Why are we not getting everything? Oh, be ah, right, 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 right. If there's more than one castle, you have to take all the castles before you get the county. Which is also a reason to stack your home county with as many castles as you can. 
Especially ones that have like huge amounts of defense in one of them. It's it's gonna be a nightmare to take this. Uh, where did we start? We started here in Gamer as a count. This is where we started. Uh, looking at our our line. The family tree. Oh god, please don't crash. <laughs> so we started with I think not Duke Blahos love no no oh boy um I'm afraid the game is gonna crash if we go higher <laughs> I think it was Duke Predslav. He wasn't a Duke when we started. Yeah, it was him. So we started with Predslav. Ah, uh, yes, you can have two. The way it works is basically... You check how many baronies you have. And each county needs to have at least... A keep, a city, and a temple. And as long as that is there, you can build up whatever else you want. So you want a, a county with a lot of baronies, like this. And then you build a temple, and you build a city, and then you stack the rest with uh, keeps. That's how you do it. Our daughter, Queen Kostislava, has died. At the tender age of 32. That's crazy. My poor daughter. But since this thing has no defenses whatsoever, it'll be an easy siege, even for an army without a siege dude or troops of that sort. Alright, he's trying his best again. Let's hold some court. Bring in the petitioners. A language of women? Yes. Invented code? No, no. Let's teach the women their own language. That's fine. Whatever could go wrong. <sighs> Leave your Christian brothers to worship as they please. United instead against the wicked infidels who follow false demons and allow Satan to corrupt their hearts. You need to reread the scripture. King Corton and their close family will convert to our religion, and so they shall. He refuses to convert. How dare he? Let's see. My cousin, House Koshildil, could better serve Carpathia as Hungary was given the status and exemptions of a march. Let us ensure the defense of the realm on your behalf. Um. The March Contract. While subject to a March Contract, the vassal will receive bonuses to their levies and defensive capabilities, but provide 50% less tax than with their feudal taxes obligation dictates. Like, I don't really see the point in that. Garrison size plus 20%. I mean, he pays us less, but he's more powerful, basically. How much do you pay me? How much do you pay me? How do I find out how much you pay me? <laughs> how much do I earn from you? King Vladan. Yeah, you pay me the most. You pay me the absolute most. But you also have the most people. The most troops. Okay, fine. The realm will look to Hungary for defense. Let's do it. We lose a little bit of money, but we potentially gain a lot of troops, I'm thinking. Casimir, our son, was killed by this boy. That is not okay. Can I murder you back?
Which son did he kill? Oh, it was our main heir. Okay now. All right now. If we ask him to take the vows, his only daughter is left. Wait a moment. Why are these members of my family? Are you matrilineally married to the Byzantine throne? I think she might be. Huh. How did I manage that? That's crazy. Alright, see, now we got the whole thing. I will just send this guy north. He doesn't have the best army at his back, but he got our accolade dudes. And we're almost finished anyway. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, fertility. Courtly vassal tax contribution. That is a lot, though. Plus 2%. I think we might have to use it. And fertility no longer is much of a problem, honestly. So I think that's something to equip. Um, this, and we can probably replace these, yeah, let's put the Liebeschau in there, repair that, I'll pay, no worries, and we'll destroy this thing to get a little bit back anyway, so there we go, all good, let's get an antiquarian in. Someone young who can stay there for a while. Save us some money in the long run. Huh? We're overwhelmed by stress. I will not be contrite and I will not be improvident. I will deal with the stress. Like any person does. I will attempt to... <laughs> no. Uh, no, 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 no. We could commission an epic. I don't think we did that. Or did we? All right, we're at 95%. So we need to siege something more. Or just wait. Uh, let's see. 31? 29. We'll go there. And this army will just go, I don't know, there. Why not? And this combatant there that we just captured is definitely worth some money. Oh, look at that. We have two dukes. And they, uh, they add nothing to this pool here. So that's 200 gold in our pockets. Right there. For free. Well, not for free. We fought a war, but... Uh, let's see. I saw an interesting decision there. Train for a tournament. Costs us only prestige. Nice. 31% chance we get strong. And strong is kind of silly. How are we well trained? And there we go. Uh, we're going to finish this siege just to get a little bit more money out of it. Our empress becomes cancerous. There will be no treatment. <laughs> no, no, be cautious. Be cautious now. Cancer at 56. That's not great. Let's kill him again. Maybe we take another good hostage in the battle. Yeah, well, we took a hostage. I don't know if they're good. Uh, local fashion. Steph, no. We don't need to... Th we don't need things to legitimize anything. 
All right. Let's demand a hostage as well. He's not going to give us one. Well, what happens if we demand that and he will accept? I will take him and we just enforce it. Has he? Okay, he has no chance apparently. And we gain a hostage out of it as well. And we stand down. So that was worthwhile. Duchy of Bohemia. In our de jour arms again. Who are you fighting? Are you fighting a vassal of mine? No. Tyranny. Tyranny. He's just fighting internal wars and a lot of them. Let's see if we have any interesting claims anywhere. Forced vassalization. Oh, we can actually force Vladimir? How? He has more than three counties. The limit is increased for each of the following innovations. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's news. That's news. Well, that's a good way to spend our prestige. Uh-huh. Okay, that's big. That's really big. Okay, here we can't do it. Because he has too many counties. So this guy has more counties than this guy. Interesting. But they're in it together anyway. So it doesn't really matter all that much. What knights do we have? Well, creating the Slavic Empire looks a little bit more likely now. Unite the Slavs. Slavia. Still need some from Italy and the Byzantine Empire, which is a little bit more difficult than all the rest. But Vladimir and Smolensk are big parts of what we're missing. So I think we'll do that. We'll force his vassalization. And they're fighting together anyway. So if we take out one, we make the other one weaker for our next attempt. Righty. Now fighting up here is going to be a little bit horrible. <laughs> because uh, these lands are not going to be very happy with us. Let's take... Where did, where did I put all those flags I put down? Once upon a time, I put down a whole lot of flags to show something. And I never put them back. I mean, it's a big kingdom. It's a big empire. So let's just throw down another flag. This one here. And slow down so we can adjust our army size. Now they have 8,000. That's not too little, so we're gonna be careful. All of our boys should be trickling in now. Okay, I think we're good. That's what? That's five times 2,000. That's 10,000. And something. So we'll just stop them from doing this. Stop gathering. Stop gathering. Stop gathering. This is enough. We'll all pull them together here on this little fort. We already see some enemy armies down there. 
Okay, we'll take this big army. Send them south. And this s smaller army, we're just gonna follow up. Flexible truces, shorter truces, and no prestige penalty for breaking them. Honestly, the diplomat tree is a bit of a warmonger tree. If we're, if we're looking at that properly. Like, it's just... Everything makes war cheaper and better. Ludolf became a hostage. So we're just gonna... Okay, yeah. That's a small army. They would lose, wouldn't they? We're just gonna attack them while they're standing around here. I mean, we have the superiority for sure. But why risk it, you know? And they're not gonna get away before we reach them. Ah, yes. My dear Duke, 130 gold, and thank you for the efforts in funding our wars. And we can change your contract, huh? Give us more troops then. Crown needs armies. Soldiers, the men on the battlefield. Oh, our cat is comforting us. Right, so we defeated them. Let's add these together. And we'll take this army. Nowhere. Uh, we'll just go and, and siege now. With every everything we have, really. So, this is the bad thing. These places... You're gonna suffer a lot of attrition. I mean, they're walking somewhere. I don't know where they're going. Maybe they're looking to join up with more troops or something. Doesn't matter much to me. We defeated our enemy. I don't care that people are adulterous. I don't even care if they expose my own secret on that end. All right, where are our siege lads? Somewhere, just not there. There he is. I'll put this army to have our good commander so we can use them to run around and fight the enemy for a while longer while we siege in the north and be kind of safe. Oh, there's another army coming. Might go fight them first. Might be easier to catch them, and less people will die as we do it. Let's see, you're calling us to a war. East Franconian du jour war for the county as a defender. I'll join. I'll just not bring any troops for a while. I got other things to do in the north. But, you know, if my siege goes well... Maybe this is soon done. And then I can come help you. Let's speed this up. We have both of our armies in view. We know that we're going to win this, even if they join up. And they're not going to. They're not going to arrive in time at all. So we defeat all of these right now, right here. Which is lovely. That's big. Uh, we get another banner. And we gain a personal claim on this banner. It's actually a, it's a pretty decent banner. I like getting banners. Uh, we'll just wait here. Replenish our... Our supplies for both armies. And... Walking through all... Uh, we'll see. 
We can go. We can go meet him. A word of advice. Andre, you want to give me an Andre Shuvalov? Okay, he's a good knight. I'll take him. So let's see, we'll run in the, into this hostile armor army. But we'll fight them there, no problem. I mean, I said no problem, but actually a little bit closer than I would like it to be down there. So these guys are not taking on supplies because they're far over the supply limit, which is a bit of a shame. So we have to split them. Uh, actually, we have to split them a bunch. The Knight's Templar has been destroyed. Okay. And he's mine? Okay. Alright, perfect. We just captured a valuable prisoner. So be it. Okay. So we're gonna disband some armies. Because I don't want everyone to run around here. Uh, we'll, we'll keep our siege boys. We'll send back the horses. They're very expensive. And we'll take these two armies and send them over here. To maybe try and salvage something. But I don't know if we can. They'll walk forever. Wait a moment. Uh, wait just a moment. There's an enemy here in that war. We'll just go siege that then. I don't know why these are there. Okay, new chancellor needed. King Elvir, our friend. Uh, sure. Let's put in our friend. Can try and work on that. We'll combine these armies. We'll see. Our brother died. That was him. Okay, let's check our new stuff. We got the blooded blade. Which, you know... Is kind of okay for certain things. Can't destroy this. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to give it to our son. <laughs> he can have it for now. Uh, gift artifact. He can have this blade. Effects on you. Milan is your vassals. Yeah. How is that an effect on us? Take the blade, my boy. We got it for you from the unbelievers. Oh, our cute little daughter. She needs a good spouse, a matrilineal spouse. Let's see. The kingdom of Sweden? Nah. Too young, too young. Oh, a scaly bird. The robust fella over there in the Duchy of Bavaria. Nah, we'll find you someone good. Someone good looking could could do, you know. Or maybe not someone who's chaste. Temperate and impatient. How does that work together? Let's go with these two. Of course you accept. The emperor is giving a princess to your boy. Now we can transfer. We'll sure transfer. I don't care have them as your vassal who can we ransom oh 200 what are you is this your heir 
<laughs> we got the primary air of the of the of the Khan. Yeah. That's that's big. Court artifacts. Uh we got another banner, so let's see. All of our banners are pretty good. And we can't destroy it either. But we'll just keep it until it destroys itself. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, what's going on here? You're starving. Let's move over there. So the problem is right now... There is this tiny army there. That is sieging. But since they were there first... They siege it. So if we win the siege, we're not even winning it. Because this tiny army is just going to win. These 17 men are just sitting there underneath us. And they're winning that. So we're not going to do the siege until they're gone. Mittens charm the vassal. Okay, they can now retake on supplies again. And we can... Use this army to siege this, now that these 17 men are gone. 10 catapults and 7 boys just rock up to that castle and are like, You there! Open your gate, or else! <laughs> uh, Grand wedding? Sure, we'll go. We haven't been to a wedding in a while. And we haven't asked the Pope for money in a while. Let's do all these things. I will use the money wisely. Trust me. I will invest it at home. Let's see. Can't build that. Development of Krakow is not high enough yet. But we could upgrade something here. Bigger levies. Less men at arms cost. More tax income, I think. Stationed men at arms is, is a big jump here, though. I think both of these are fine. But we'll go with the straight up money input. Alright, everyone is getting back on their feet with supplies. I don't want to send them ahead. I want to keep the army together. Oh, of course I'm your little uncle. My dear boy. My dear boy. Who should educate you? Our courtier. Okay, no. Uh... Let's go. I have no idea what they're going to make of him, but I don't care. Look, we took some prisoners for you in the north here. Isn't that fun? Well, it's fun for me, mainly. Okay. Alright. I see. To win this, we might actually have to raise our whole army. Though... Like, West Frankia, yeah. why are you so big? Why are you so strong? What's that? Lost our court physician. Well, definitely want to have another one. Our patriarch. It's average at it. That's good. We'll take it. Let's see. Is there anything that gives us... Okay, knight effectiveness is pretty good. But is there anything that gives us development? That's my question. I see control. I see no development nowhere. Bodyguards. Dread gain. Nah. I mean, I've won a whole siege up here. That must count for something.
Let's put down another flag. Oh, we can't. <laughs> Uh, let's move a flag over here then. She's an adequate bargainer. Very well. Let us marry these two. So they have 4,000. We are bringing, what, 6,000. Well, a little bit more than 6,000. That's 10,000 together. That's more than the enemy has. That should be fine, shouldn't it? Uh, Rudolf will be more likely to be loyal to us when he becomes an adult. I mean, those seem to be the same outcome. Except we might also form a friendship. So let's try that. He's impressed by our story. Very good. Exciting. Enjoy. Uh, we'll just go for all the stress-reducing options. Though there's a chance we become wounded. Our Empress has just died. Um, okay, time to find a new spouse, shall we? And we're looking for someone who is learned. No, we're looking for a good diplomat. Oh, K Kiefle. A beautiful diplomat. But a lowborn. Does it matter? She is lustful though, so that's maybe not ideal. Compassionate, lazy and brave, fecund. Boy, our selection is not great. <laughs> She's Coptic Christian. So I mean Sure. Costs us a little bit of prestige, but we'll go for it. Excellent. Not getting involved, only here to release stress, thanks. Not getting involved. Just looking for stress relief, thanks. Oh, our cat brought us gold. <laughs> Very good. Another lifestyle perk. Accomplished forger. Fabricate claim. Unlocks the bloody grand wedding. Okay. All for stress relief. All right, we'll send our troops up there. time for the wedding to commence. We gain social drinker for 20 years. Monthly income minus 10, 1%. But the courtly vassals like us. Nah. 1%. Hello. That's money. Right out of my pocket. Become an eager reveler. Sure. Congratulations again. Goodbye. A good omen. The quack dacking. The, 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 the duck quacking. Okay, so for some reason, our beloved enemy has split his armies, uh, which will cost him dearly now. Though we are also splitting our armies. But that's fine. We kill this and then we return. Oh, oh, wait. Okay. All right. All right. There's a lot of troops coming. There's a lot of troops coming. I don't think we can raise enough troops in time to get them over there. 
But we'll sure as heck try. Okay, everyone is leaving apparently. Yes, bring in the king. All right, we're losing an army. Oh no. Our ally is moving in a completely different direction than us. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. Yeah, they're just slapping us around at this point. Oh, how did our Empress get pregnant? Okay, best we can do is wait for them to split, but they're not going to do that. If we attack like this, they're absolutely going to slaughter us. Because they just turn around, throw everyone on top there. But you know, I like living dangerous. Let's go. <laughs> Compromise security. Uh, are all this forgiven? Also, scheme resistance minus 25%. That's a lot. No, you don't write home again. I mean, it, okay, and there it goes. There it goes. It looked good for a second. It looked good for a second, but maybe we just speed up the defeat now. Yep. Sure did. <laughs> I don't want to learn languages, thank you. So that's decent now, is it? Oh, very good. They lost the war, and we can... Why are we suddenly in some siege? Why can't I stand down my troops? Okay, I can. There we go. Do we have troops left somewhere? No. I think it was because of the raiders, but it's a little bit weird because they're so far away. Alright. Let's go through our prisoners. Cash in on that war. Oh, not this guy. Not this guy. Okay, I think we accomplished a whole bunch um, today. Really reunited the Empire of Carpathia in, in some meaningful ways there. We got some interesting new developments on this end. Let's see, can we reform this now or are we still out of it? Nah. Another 12 years until we can add something, which is a shame because we have so much prestige. We can get anything we want. And that is really, really, really sad. Really sad. Really. <laughs> ah, well. What can we do? We're working on this here so we can get high crown authority. And then we can get equal marriage, uh, equal inheritance. Both girls and boys. So why are you so strong? <laughs> Okay, you still have these 7,000 mercenaries, that's why. Alright, we'll leave it here for today. If you watched it on Twitch, thank you very much. And if you watched it on YouTube, thank you very much as well. Check out either or. Leave a like, leave a follow. And I'll see you around next time. Which is either tomorrow sometime. Or... I think Tuesday or Monday is the next schedule. Check the schedule on Twitch. There you can see it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.